What's up guys, Maz here. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily get the Hylian Shield in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go. So the Hylian Shield is easily one of the best, if not the best, shields in the game. It has a 90 base durability, so this is a shield that's going to last you a very, very long time. Especially if we're getting it this early in the game, that's pretty awesome, not going to lie. Okay, so the only requirement that you need to get the shield is just finish the Sky Islands. That's all you have to do. As you guys can see, I haven't completed anything yet. Um, lookout landing, I literally just got there, I didn't do anything else. So you just need to finish the Great Sky Island. Once you make it down to the surface, all you need to do is just head over to Hyrule Castle. Now just as a recommendation, I would suggest getting this shrine right here, Kionis Shrine. Just so that way, once you get the shield, you can easily just fast travel out of there and it wouldn't be a big deal. Aside from that, the only other thing I suggest doing, if you want to make some food, I suggest making something that's going to give you speed just because there is a little bit of walking that's required. If you have something that's going to help speed up the process, um, I think that's going to be very helpful. So honestly, what you can do, just make some hasty mushroom skewers, get your portable pot. Okay. Then all you need is just get a bunch of rush rooms. Okay. We get a bunch of these. Cook them up and there we go speed up for five minutes and it heals a good number of hearts too so let's go ahead and eat this so we have five minutes so what we'll be doing so let's open up these gates here okay and we're gonna be heading west now where we need to go is right in this little nook here so this is where the hyrule docks are and this is where the shield is located so we're just gonna make our way over there so i would suggest heading west stay and hug the left side of the castle we're just going to continue going this way until we can see hyrule castle floating in the sky so i'm just going to speed this up for you guys real quick okay we're just going to go around this bend and once you've made it to this point here so you're going to see there's the castle in the sky and some craziness down there so we're going to go you're going to stop here then you're gonna go left and we're gonna head just down this way okay now what we can do well i mean you can do that <laughs> what i was going to say is you can just climb down the wall and avoid any sort of damage but that works too anyway so once we get down here now we're going to continue to head west we're going to cut through all of this also another thing to note is i don't have the paraglider so it just goes to show you don't need the paraglider. I mean, I'm sure it would make things slightly easier, but honestly, you, you can just get the Hylian Shield very, very early in the game. So once we make it to this point here, okay, <laughs> take some more fall damage. So anyway, once we make it to here, we're going to head through this little cavern. And this is the Hyrule Docks. And the best part is, everything that you need is right here for you. You really don't need to make much. It's not a big deal. Even if it's not perfect, it's okay. And you even have a fan as well. Perfect. Okay. And honestly, we're not even going to really use the boat to get the entire way there. I'm sure you probably can, but we just need a little bit of leeway. So that way we don't have to swim all the way down. Once we do that, just head down. Okay. Now we're going to hit this thing. And let's see if we can actually make it in one shot. Also, this is a Korok puzzle right here. All you have to do is just jump from the top. We're going to actually go through here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to climb up this wall here. Okay, we're gonna just walk through here. Now just be careful of the gloom because that will hurt you. And you guys can see we've made it into Hyrule Docks. So at this point, just jump past this. Okay, and I'm gonna climb yourself up here. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make it to the top of the stairwell. Now I am gonna warn you guys, um, you may get attacked by a specific enemy. Um, I'm not really gonna say much about it, just for those that want to avoid spoilers, but uh, it's, they're a little scary. So anyway, so we're just going to move past here, hop on this box, go around, 
It's okay, take some damage, not a big deal. And we just need to make it up to this top part here. And what you guys are gonna see is this torch. And honestly, all you need is to get something that's gonna conduct fire. Even a red choo-choo jelly is fine, which you can even throw. Okay, so let's just throw that. And as soon as you light it, a chest emerges from the ground. And let's find out what's inside. Ta-da! And I can't carry any more shields, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this real quick. Boom, look at this beauty. The Hylian shield. Pretty simple, not that hard at all. Using those mushrooms does definitely help just with the uh, increased speed. And again, you can literally do this from the moment that you get off the Sky Islands. I do suggest, however, at least activating the shrine just so that way you can fast travel out of here uh, because it can be a little tricky if you don't and you want to make yourself back out. But uh, that's it. So just travel through here and there you go. Now you can begin your playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom with the Hylian Shield. We got ourselves the shield and man, does it look good. Also, another quick note, while the shield is very durable and like I said, you know, it's gonna last you a very, very long time. It isn't indestructible, so at some point, the durability will break. At that point there, if you lose the shield, if you break it, there's gonna be an NPC, I believe their name is CC. All you need to do is talk to them, and you can buy back the shield for 3,000 rupees. Let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos you guys want to see, and I'll do my best to try and help you guys out. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for me. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give the video a like. I am going to be making a lot more Tears of the Kingdom content, so be sure to subscribe for that if you uh, would like to see some more guides, tips, tricks, and tutorials. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next video. All the best, guys. Enjoy your shield.